so uh, we're hiding in our bedroom because our teething baby is asleep and we don't want to wake her up. Welcome back to the vlog, everyone. Um, in case you don't know, I am Maddie. And I'm Jared. And uh, Baby Ray is the one who is teething. Yay. We are continuing our Disney Bound Our Life series today. This week was actually a lot of fun, and uh, I'm very excited about it. We did Swiss Family Robinson. Now, in case you don't know, Swiss Family Robinson was actually a book. It was a book written in 1812, and there was actually a couple of different um, adaptations of it. The one we are talking about is the 1960 version of Swiss Family Robinson that Walt Disney did because we're Disney bounding our life, not other random movie bounding our life. So there was actually some interesting things that happened during the production of Swiss Family Robinson. Um, they filmed it on the island of Tobago and uh, there were no um, animals that they needed for the production on the island. So they ended up having to import like a tiger and a bunch of ostriches and dogs and flamingos and elephant and zebra yeah yeah I'm tired there was also a tropical storm that happened during production and flooded the treehouse so that halted production for a good solid few weeks how did it flood the treehouse because they had the walls up and stuff it was a set so like they on could... the ground yeah, part of it. Just when you say it flooded a tree house, that's 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 a big storm. When you're it on was the top a big of storm. I'm telling you, this is what island. Wikipedia says. Besides causing logistical problems, the weather also introduced other difficulties. The storm, the tropical storm Edith, arrived at Tobago during filming. The storm flooded many sets, including the tree house, paralyzing the shoot for weeks. But what's really cool is apparently members of the production team helped natives rebuild their homes after the storm. Another interesting fact, when they finished filming, they were actually going to tear down the treehouse and remove all evidence, you know, that they had filmed so that it didn't impact the ecological surroundings. But the natives actually asked them to keep the treehouse up. And, um... In 1960, the treehouse is actually listed for sale for $9,000, and it became a tourist attraction until Hurricane Flora destroyed the treehouse in 1963. Bummer. I know. That would have been really cool to go see. I got $9,000. I can figure. <laughs> <laughs> so the reception at the box office for this movie was actually incredible. At the time, it earned $40 million in box office sales. And if you adjust that to ticket inflation prices, that's $331 million, making it one of the biggest hits of all time, period. Wow. Yeah. And what's really interesting, and I noticed this on the um, Apple TV, is it actually holds an 84% approval rating from Rotten Tomatoes. That's saying a lot. And baby girl didn't want to be out of a video making, so she has now joined us. And hopefully we'll go to sleep to the soothing, calming sounds of our voice. Would you like a binky? Good girl. I'm not sure what you were thinking, but before we watched the movie, I was very skeptical about whether I would like it or not. I had no premise, or I had no preconceptions. Well, good for you. You're better than me. <laughs> but I actually really, really, really loved this movie. It was pretty good. It was a very surprising turn of emotions for me. I got very emotionally invested. <laughs> what were some of your thoughts about the movie? What were some things that you liked and things that you didn't? I can see why it's not a real popular movie these days just the cultural differences. Yeah. I do like, though, that it portrays men like being men. Like, building things, using their brains, protecting the family, that kind of stuff. That's very refreshing. 
um, the pirates were a little much for me. <laughs> but you have to have a villain in every Disney movie and they added the pirates. So for our activity this week, we decided to go camping. Because they're basically on an eternal camping trip and we actually kind of have a tree house too. Hey Duchess, are you ready to go on a camping trip? Yeah? Are you gonna protect Reagan back there? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so would you say it's fair to say we're halfway there now? Maybe, something like that. So, and we just ordered Chipotle. Online ordering is the best. What do you think, Duchess? Are you excited? Yeah? And uh, Reagan's just chilling in the back. So, one thing I love about Texas road trips is how quickly the landscape changes, like, as you drive. We're barely out of the city right now, and we're already getting like hills and lots of trees. Lots more arid and yeah. Texas hill country already. Yeah. Lucky number 13. We're at campsite number 13. Are you excited? It's our campsite. Lots of trees. Good for hammocking. And Jerry made a really, really incredible Cajun meal. And uh, a fire. So all in all, it's been an interesting first day. Um, definitely did not go as our normal camping trips, you know? Our family's changed. But I'm still thankful for the times that we have like this here. We can say, remember your first camping trip? And we can show Reagan this video. Good morning, everyone. Um, I think we had a fairly good night. Um, it got cold. So baby girl woke up once cold. She had wiggled her hand out of her hand pocket. And it was freezing, so I covered her up with her. Yeah. So I covered her up with her Sherpa blanket and she got her binky for her and she went right back to sleep. There was a couple of critters that Duchess was not happy about last night, but she just growled instead of tear a hole in our tent this time. And then we woke up. I fed Reagan once. She went back to sleep. And so mom and dad had breakfast. I had my coffee. And uh, I think we're going to start getting ready here soon to go on a little hike. How did dad sleep in the, in the stratos? Took me a while to get back in the swing of sleeping in a hammock. It's been a while. You know, it's <laughs> the swing. Of ah, I got it. So uh, this is our view. So Duchess is uh, guarding the ground. We got our tent right there, which is where Reagan and I slept last night. Our Stratos is back there in the trees with our other hammock right there. And then if you go down that way, that's where the river is. River. Yep. Okay. We are all sunscreened up. Got our hats and our sunglasses. And the little one's case, binkies. And uh, 
You ready to go for a hike? You ready, Dad? Almost. Alright. We are crossing the river. So we're along one of my favorite trails back here in the back. It goes right along this creek. And we don't remember this last time, but this rock is like... It's on edge. On edge. Just sitting here. Pretty big rock. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> Baby girl's falling asleep. Okay. This is much easier next time with waterproof boots than it was last time with tennis shoes. Yes, definitely. But I really love this trail back here. It's my favorite, probably. So we hiked for a couple hours <laughs> and uh, just had lunch. Instagram rebound or whatever. Oh, whatever. <laughs> and uh, now we're coming down off the outlook where we had lunch, and this is the view of the valley where all the tracks are. You can kind of see them from here, but that's a really good, good shot of the valley. Think Reagan. Say I may be asleep at this point. Oh, so funny. So this is the reason why it's being Bannister Valley State Park. Because this is the location of a bunch of dinosaur tracks. One, and, of, the, uh, one of the locations. One of the locations. It's, I would say it's the main location. Probably the main. Ta-da! Dino tracks. Especially right there. But they basically look like some big holes in the ground. Well, we some of go. them do. We can go over yeah. to the dry section. The three-toed ones are very distinct. Yeah. We got some smaller three-toed ones over here. River. They're even labeled for you. <laughs> but where the water is is where the tracks are. So you can see, I think it was walking. <clears throat> the three toed ones are the easiest ones to discern. Yeah. But it's really cool. They have a whole museum here that kind of explains which dinosaurs. Um, tracks they found in the valley. And that museum is over by the uh, place where you check in at, at headquarters. Um, and I, we've checked it out uh, since the last time we've been here. And it's a really, really um, informative and cool thing to see. Especially if you're from North Texas, it's kind of cool to be like, yeah, there were dinosaurs where I used to live. <laughs> what do you think, Duchess? Pretty cool, isn't it? Plus, the river's just gorgeous. It's very, very beautiful. What do you think, Ray? Say, it's cool. I'm gonna keep sucking on my fingers. Um, what's the state of the water conditions, babe? <laughs> it's not that bad. It's yeah. cold, it's not that bad. A little chilly. It feels great on hiking feet. Yeah. How you doing, Duchess? All oh, good. Just having fun exploring. Never mind that you woke me up for my nap. I was asleep. This is great, though. Okay, and now we are in kind of like a little middle area where, um, 
idea Cash is supposed to be. It's gorgeous back here. This is pretty cool. So we really, really enjoyed our camping trip. Um, we're going to have a couple of different pieces of content coming uh, in the next couple weeks. Um, talking about how we uh, camped with an infant and survived and uh, talking about our uh, stratos which is our equivalent of a tree house for these days and our review on it so be looking for those in the next couple weeks and until next week we will see you guys later bye how we doing reagan Practicing for when you conduct an orchestra. Is that what we're doing? Waving our arms up and down. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 Who? Is that you? Are you on the TV? Who? Are you on the screen? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. You already smile at yourself in the mirror. Oh, yeah, yeah.